we are at spiritual war and there's spiritual war against the chosen ones. And in this particular case, I spoke about DNA and why they are coming after the DNA, why they are trying to alter genetics. And some people were a bit confused and some people also were saying that this sounds like hocus pocus talks. And I understand that if you don't understand who you are, that you are consciousness, you are the soul. And whatever is in existence is consciousness. Ishavasyam itam sarvam. Whatever is in existence is consciousness. And this body is just not who we are. This is the flesh. It's not who we are. We are the soul. The body itself has a memory engrams of the experience that we call the soul. And on the soul, there are light signatures. And in these light signatures are the experience that we've had in many different lifetimes or genmas. And we take these light signatures with us in each genma. Now, what happens if they remove those light signatures like they're doing now through genetically modified foods, chemtrails, and spraying in the sky, through the transhuman agenda, trying to create the artificial human or human 2.0. They try and stop that through modifying the genes. That is what they're trying to do by removing it. But the soul must unburden itself. This is the natural progression. This is why the transhuman agenda is the way it is. If the soul cannot remember what it must do, then the question is, those who are in control of the genetics, what are they going to do to the soul? It becomes a robotic slave. Whomever controls that is the master of that consciousness, trying to, to disconnect one from the ultimate soul. But of course, this is not possible. This is why cultivation is necessary. If you have a master that can help you, a master that is the formless one, assumes the light body, some call it the astral body, and it can initiate you in the astral body, or it can come in the physical form, the growth form, and initiate you in a physical form so that you can now work past this. The cultivation is necessary. The initiation is also very important so that you can bring the soul back to its archetypal form so that you can go through your necessary journey. And this is what it means to go after the genetics, to try and alter the DNA and to try to, to attack the chosen ones, those who have souls. You are going to be all right. You are not alone. You are protected. You are safe. I am protected. I am safe. And there's ways to go against this. There's so many things that can be done. This is the end game, but of course, this is their end game. But if you realize that your consciousness, you can come out of this. Certain things you can do. Let love guide you and not fear. Fear is their food. Fear is the false evidence appearing real. Fear is the Maya. These so-called interdimensional beings, the jinns, as the Sufis call them, the Gnostics call them, the Archons, these are the Maya. So always remember, ignorance is not bliss. Bliss is enlightenment. So radiate the eternal bliss of a thousand suns. Eternally blissful.